Assalamu alaikum students. In this video, we will discuss about different steps which are required uh, for the registration process as a pharmacist in USA. As this process consists of various steps, so for the sake of your convenience, I have divided this lecture into different parts so that you can have a better understanding of this process. So in part one, I will share the general information regarding the uh, different steps of registration process as well as I will discuss the first step in detail. Now what are different steps? First step is related to the evaluation of your documents by ECE. Now what is ECE? ECE is uh, Educational Credential Evaluator. It is an US based organization. You send your documents to ECE and then ECE will evaluate your uh, documents and whether your degree is equivalent to the American Bachelor degree of Pharmacy or not. Once you get your ECE report, then you can apply for second step. And now what is second step second step in second step you apply for your uh, registration for uh, your fpge exam and uh, for fpge exam you apply on nabp website and when you apply there then nabp uh, will evaluate your applications and if you are eligible then nabp will send you a roll number slip or fic FIC mean FPGE identification card and now on the basis of this card you can apply for a visa because you have to travel to US uh, to take this exam so uh, in third step you apply for your visiting visa so when you get your visa you go to US now in US you have to take two exams first exam is related to FPGE exam and second one is TOEFL exam both exams are mandatory. Both exams are connected with each other. You have to pass both of these exams in order to get FPGE certification. And if you fail in one of the exam, you will not get your FPGE certificate. And hence, you cannot uh, proceed to further steps. So it is uh, really important to uh, qualify both of these exams. So when you qualify or clear both of these exams, then you can proceed to next step and which is about to complete your internship of uh, 1500 hours. So after completing your internship, you can uh, take your uh, NAPLEX exam. And when you pass your NAPLEX exam, then you go for your next exam, which is a uh, uh, law exam and which is also called multi-state pharmacy jurisprudence exam. So after clearing all these exams, you will get your uh, license and you can work as a retail pharmacist in USA. Now here I have tried to explain all these steps diagrammatically. Here you can see that the first step is ECE and now after ECE, you go for your registration for FPG exam. And after getting your FIC, uh, you go for visa and uh, travel to US. And when you uh, and when you arrive in US, you have to take these two exams. And after passing these exams, you complete your internship. And after your internship, you have to take NAPLEX and your law exam. And after clearing your law exam, you will apply for license. And then you can become a licensed pharmacist in US. And now we will discuss the first step in detail. Now in first step you need to evaluate your uh, documents by ECE and for this evaluation you need four kind of documents. So first document you need that is uh, proof of degree and now what is proof of degree? Uh, this is a document and you, you need to go to your university and ask them for your proof of degree and your university will charge very nominal fee and they will uh, provide you this proof of degree in one or two working days. And remember, don't send your original Form D degree. Rather, you just need to send this proof of degree. Now, second document is your official transcript. And now again, you go to your university and ask them for duplicate copy of your uh, original transcript. And again, your university uh, charge very nominal fee and they will provide you your uh, duplicate copy of transcript in one or two working days. And here again, you need to remember that you don't need to send your original personal transcript, right? You only need to send the duplicate copy of your official transcript. Now, third document is uh, your syllabus of Form D. Take the copy of the syllabus and get attested by the university. Now the fourth document is ECE fee deposit slip. At ECE fee deposit slip, you need to visit uh, this website ece.org. This is very simple website. You have to make an account on this website and when you make your account, 
uh, then you need to upload your uh, personal details as well as details regarding your education and once you uh, give your details then you have to pay your fee and after uh, paying your fee they will give you option to download your fee slip so you can download this fee slip and then you can take a print of this fee slip now you have all the documents you have proof of degree you have a duplicate official transcript and then you have copy of syllabus and ece fee deposit slip now the next question is how to send these documents to ece now there are two options first option is uh, you need to go to your university and ask your university to send these documents to uh, ECE directly. If your university refuses to send, then don't you worry. Take all your documents and you also need an envelope from your university having a university stamps on it. Take your all documents along with this envelope to any courier service center. Then put your documents in this envelope and seal it with glue or gum. Now here you need to remember one th regarding sender address and recipient address. Now you can mention your uh, personal address as sender address but it is better to mention your university address as a sender address. Right? Your recipient address you need to mention ECE address and ECE address will be mentioned on your fee slip. Now once you have sent your all documents to ECE you have to wait for 15 to 20 days and within 15 to 20 days you will get your report. And here you have completed your first step and on the basis of this report you can apply for second step so this is all about for this video best of luck and see you in next video